The Missile Defense Agency and U.S. Navy successfully conducted its 24th sea-based Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Flight Test, FTM-20, and its first test of 2013 in a nighttime event. Aegis cruiser USS Lake Erie CG-70 used the second generation Aegis BMD-40 weapon system operating far off the Hawaiian coastline. The primary objective of this test was for the Aegis BMD system to receive detection and tracking data from two Space Tracking Surveillance System STSS, demonstration satellites to engage the target. A unitary ARAV-B medium-range ballistic missile was launched from the Pacific Missile Range facility as the test target. This remote satellite track data was sent to a ground-based C2BMC suite, processed and forwarded to Lake Erie through Link 16 to conduct a launch on remote, or LOR, engagement against the target. Usually, Aegis BMD conducts its ballistic missile defense missions using its own SPY-1 radar to detect, track, and develop an organic engagement fire control solution against the target. For FTM-20, Lake Erie's SPY-1 radar was not set initially to detect the ballistic missile target for this LOR test. All stations CSC battle shorts enabled. Instead, the ship used engagement data developed by the external space-based assets. Auto engagement ordered 1515. All stations CAO green. And processed by the Aegis system to develop a fire control solution before launching its SM3 Block 1A missile. After Aegis BMD launched its SM3 Block 1A missile automatically, initial target tracks on the system were received from the remote satellite sensors. Seconds later, Lake Erie's own spy radar acquired the SM-3 Block 1A missile as it climbed into the radar's predetermined search area to conduct a ballistic missile engagement. Aegis BMD sent target update data to the SM-3 Block 1A missile to intercept the ARAV-B target. The SM-3 missile's third stage ejected its kinetic warhead, KW, and the KW maneuvered in space and destroyed the ballistic missile target by direct kinetic impact. FTM-20 demonstrated another important milestone in Aegis BMD's successes. Not only can Aegis BMD ships engage ballistic missile targets organically on its own, proven over many times, FTM-20 showed that track information from remote satellite sensors provides Aegis BMD with expanded ballistic missile engagement battle space and also demonstrates its inherent flexibility as the sea-based element of the integrated ballistic missile defense system. Aegis BMD, the second generation, continuing the evolution of ballistic missile defense for the nation's defense. Aegis delivers. Lake Erie's commanding officer, Captain David Hughes, speaks about the FTM-20 test and the new second-generation Aegis BMD-4-0.
In FTM 20, Lake Erie received track data from space-based assets. This data was fire control quality, and by that, I mean Lake Erie was able to develop a fire control solution from the track data and conduct an engagement with a standard missile 3 Block 1A against a medium-range unitary ballistic missile target. Salvo warning alarm. Either way, track 1515. When we launched our missile, that felt good. We had done our part, and it was up to the missile to uh, track home. And uh, we saw the missile tracking home, and uh, we had the confirmed kill. Travel kill, 2015. It was a great feeling. This is unique, or it's unusual, because traditionally, when we conduct engagements, we use our own radar information to generate the fire control solution. So this is the first time that the ship has received fire control quality data from a non-radar. It was challenging in that, uh, like anything, we had to put our faith and we had to put our success in the hands of others. As we talked about in the organic engagements, that's our radar, that's our information, that's our engagement, that's our missile. This was a combined effort which adds to the complexity and the way it came together was truly amazing. So it was different in that respect, but it was also exciting and very rewarding in that respect. An organic engagement we're very comfortable with. We use our radars to detect the target. That radar data feeds our computers. That's how SPY and the Aegis Combat System was built, to use organic radar information to develop fire control solutions. While launching remote has been a long envisioned capability, actually seeing it, we're starting to uh, realize it now and place it in operation where I can take information, non-organic information, originally from other radars and now from space-based assets, and we're able to use that in our computers to develop the fire control solutions to conduct engagements. Well, to give you the soft answer, we've learned the art of the possible. In each of the flight test missions we've participated in, each mission has presented its own unique challenges. And in each case, the coming together of the sailors, the government civilians, the research and development community, the academics, the contractors, in each case, the analysis, the coming together, the symbiotic work has produced answers to overcome what seemed at times to be insurmountable challenges. The number of nations that have ballistic missiles continues to expand and the complexity of the ballistic missiles in their inventory continues to advance. 4.0 keeps pace with those developments and I think actually turns the curve. With the capability we demonstrated in Flight Test Mission 20 with remote engagements, that footprint or the defended area expands even more. 4.0 is a significant step forward with uh, the Aegis BMD capability. The dedicated ballistic missile defense signal processor provides us a, a standalone computing system to process the uh, radar information we receive on ballistic missile targets. As you can imagine, that standalone processing capability significantly expands the capability. We have the ability to discriminate, we have earlier detection of targets, and we can conduct longer range engagements. We are also able to include the SM-31B missile, which is a tremendous step forward from the existing SN-31A capability.